Hey guys, and welcome back to another moving vlog. You know what I was gonna say? Cue the intro. So hi, hello, how are you all doing? I have missed you. We had not had a moving vlog last week. Um, instead, obviously, I had my eBay haul, which if you haven't seen that already, I highly recommend that you watch. It had a lot of the bits and bobs that you guys have been commenting and asking me about in. So I thought I'd just going to compile it into a video. And I mean, you guys know I love eBay, but I was amazed at the amount of people of you in there who literally were like, I am so Amazon. I didn't think of going to eBay for anything like these sort of things. And now you're like, I'm going to go to eBay and have a look. So... I'm really happy. I found some real little gems. So if you haven't seen that video already, I will link it down below so you can watch it after. It should also be on the end slate of this video, but I was really happy with it and I'm glad you guys really enjoyed it. So as I said, we're back here for a moving vlog today and I am very buzzing. We've got quite a few things to do. I want to do some more decanting of my jars. We've got some um, little DIY things to do around the house, just the little minor things, nothing too big. Um, and it's just going to be another little catch up as we didn't see you last week. So we're gonna kick this vlog off with a little bit of a home haul. So the postman has just come, or post lady, I've got a post lady actually, not a postman. And she dropped me off this massive box right over here. You can see my bag there. And then we have this huge box. So I thought we could have a little bit of an unboxing together. So let me just set you up. It is also such a stunning day today. Finally, finally we've had such bad weather. And like, this is the one day it's come through and it is beaming and beautiful. Oh my God, it's so heavy. So this is the box here and it's from a brand called Click Marketplace. Now I have heard of these guys. I've seen a few people who I watch home hauls for that have done unboxings for them. So they're very much, they're just again, like a online sort of B&M, um, Poundland sort of style thing. So they just sent me over an email and they were like, you fancy trying out some stuff this is not sponsored i've got some exciting stuff so i thought we could have a little ponder and if you haven't already get yourself a nice cup of tea and chill out and enjoy this moving vlog i should have mentioned that at the beginning i do have my tea somewhere i'm not sure where let me go get it okay i got my mug i got my crumble crumble mug <laughs> friday night dinner fans right okay so we've got to have a little look in here oh wow I forgot, I got stuff for my mum as well. This is what I'm seeing. <laughs> Food. All right, so we got a lot of packets of crisps. We got some discos, and then we've got mini cheddars, chipotle chicken wing, and what's this one? Red Leicester cheese. I thought they sounded absolutely amazing. I got some little anti-back wipes. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these. I'm so excited. I got Famous Amos. So actually on their website, I was super impressed. For all of my American fans in the UK, American fans, not of fans of me, American food fans, that's what I meant. They have a huge American um, snacks and treats range. I actually got a lot from it, so you'll see some in here. Um, of like really unique stuff that you can only get in the US and it's really affordable prices. But Famous Amos I used to have when I lived in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. They had the Famous Amos actual shops where they baked the fresh cookies. And you just don't find them in England, so I got Famous Amos. We got some Smarty Buttons. My mum wanted these, the Bounty Soft Baked Cookies. Are you a coconut chocolate fan? Because I know you very Marmite, isn't it? Ooh, we got a couple of cosmetic organizers. I don't remember ordering this. Okay, I don't remember a little, actually, do you know what, that's exactly what I need to put like cotton pads in and stuff. There's just, I love this because you'll see now the variety of stuff that's here. We're in desperate need of these. These are heavy duty garden sacks for the garden. I then got a game of beer pong because I thought this would be quite funny when we can have a few barbecues, which by the way, that's another house update. Got a barbecue, buzzing about it. Then also got a grilling mat. If you have got a barbecue, you need to buy one of these. If you hate cleaning a barbecue, these are the mats you put down and you can cook your food on it so you haven't got to do so much cleaning. They're so, so good. My mum and dad have got one and they're brilliant. Saying that though, the next item is a barbecue cleaner. This is really good. It's got a scraper, which is really sharp and then brushes and a sponge. So it's good to clean the baby Q. We then have the little Cadbury white Oreo Peter Rabbit bunny. These are another one of the American snacks. I picked up two of them. This is the combos, combos stuffed snacks in the uh, pizzeria baked pretzel ones. I also got it in the pepperoni pizza as well. 
I've never tried this before, but it looked amazing. This is Galaxy Crispy. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize they were gonna be this big. They were like seven pounds and I was like, oh, but this is um, little terracotta planters. Can you see that? They say chives and then there's like rosemary and all that. And I have actually got um, herbs at the front. So I thought these would be quite handy. They are quite big though. Can you see that? I thought they'd be little things, but usually it happens the other way around where I think things are tiny and then they, sorry, I think things are huge and then they come tiny. How cool are these like Kit Kats as well? I've got a Kit Kat mint and dark chocolate. This is part of the American candy too. And then the Kit Kat gold, which is the caramel one. I don't really like caramel, but I got that for Andy. More anti-back wipes and then this head soothe. This was part of the 6P range as well, I think. It's just what you put on your head and it cools it down. And then these are my biscuits. These are the digestive lights. So they're actually 30% reduced fat in them. So I usually have these as opposed to normal digestives and I think they taste exactly the same. So I got three packets of those. And then for the winter months, not now, I did pick up two packets of the Ambi Pure Frosted Pine. The pine is my ultimate favorite winter scent, period. Oh, look. it comes so well packaged. There's like another layer now. I'm guessing all the heavy stuff goes at the bottom because I definitely got a lot of cleaning stuff I know that so I just got some baby wipes oh I got another packet for digestives I literally got four digestives I got one of these meat thermometers so it just comes as like an analog I don't know when I'll ever need this oh Christmas maybe for turkeys then for the barbecue I got some utensils so I got this barbecue fork and they're really nice because they've got the wooden handles which I quite like I got this greens pancake mix. It just looked really nice. I usually make my own pancakes, but I thought that that looked quite, quite nice. I've never seen these before either. So part cleaning, they do the SIF outdoor furniture, garden furniture wipes. And we just got our new garden set, which I'm very excited about. Um, I don't know what makes them specific to outdoors. It's probably marketing, but I then got some custard creams and then two packets of the digestive dark chocolate ones, which are also my like little treat ones that I have now and again. I got this little LED church candle, bougie LED, because I thought this would be quite cool. I've got a nice, oh, there we go, it lights up, it's already got batteries and it flickers. I love a flicking candle. But this will be a lot safer for like on the floor in my lanterns. I then got a large Robinson's fruit juice. We get through this stuff far too quickly. I then got two, one for my mum and one for me, of the Zaflora Spiced Plum. Now, I haven't smelt this before. It probably is a lot more of a winter scent, but I just thought this sounded really nice. Okay. Yeah, it's very nice. And again, they're super affordable prices. I obviously can't remember, but everything here was literally about a pound. Um, there's an odd few things like the beer pong that might have been three pounds. I think the grill mat might have been two pound fifty. Like there's just odd things, but everything is so affordable. I then got this barbecue grill with wooden handle. I think these are for like patties that you can put on and it's just easier for them to flip, I think. I don't know because I've never owned a barbecue and now I own a barbecue and I'm so excited about it. Also got this, which I thought would be quite good for the hob and stuff that's up there. You would have seen, obviously, if you've seen the house and you follow. But this is the Astonish Premium Edition Stainless Steel Special Cleaner and Sponge. And it says keeps things looking like new. I love anything for stainless steel because it's such a bugger with the lines. I then picked up this Astonish Garden Bouquet. And this is the disinfectant. So it's very much like the Zaflora, but obviously it is a massive one. So I thought this would be quite nice for, I chuck quite a bit down the drains and things just to refresh. And that's a really nice like fruity floral. It's not too like old lady. In fact, it's not old lady at all. It's very fresh. Then I got two and I never knew they did these star drops and pine fans. They do the star drops disinfectant. So I got one for me and one for my mum because she needs one of these. But this is my favourite cleaning product ever. The Star Drops 4-in-1 Antibacterial Spray. It is the my ultimate favourite product and I'm already halfway through a bottle. So I thought I'd try this. I don't know. It says multi-purpose cleaning. So let me know if you guys have tried these. But I guess you can treat them essentially like these, the Floras, and like this. They're just contra concentrated disinfectant. So you can either dilute them and just use them in a spray bottle or you can use them neat, I guess. And then I just picked up two of the, again, one for me, one for my mum, of the Astonish Daily Shower Shine. So these are great, again, if you've got a shower with glass panelling. Once you've had a shower and, you know, your partner's not having a shower, literally just go in and spray it all over the window. You don't need to touch it, you don't need to wipe it, just spray it and let it run down. And it, you, you're not left with any marks. And you've got those horrible, like, water, like, lime scale marks. It's so good. 
And then the final thing is just something for the car. I have never seen these before, but this looks really nice. This would be a really good gift as well. So this is the Yankee Candle Charming Scents Fluffy Towels um, accessory for your car. And it's a fragrance locket. Look how pretty that is. I don't know why I want to focus over here. Look how pretty that is. It's silver, like matte silver. And it's the fluffy towel scents. And they had a couple of different scents for these. I think the other one was like midnight violet or something. But yeah, that was everything from Click Marketplace. So I tell you what, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> I love anything that involves food and cleaning stuff because you guys know me. I'm always on a B&M trip. I'm always on a Pangland trip. But obviously with the current situation and how people are changing their ways shopping, it's really nice to have these sort of quick and easy online places that you can go to. So I will leave all the details down below for Click Marketplace, but you do get free delivery on any orders over £40, which is awesome, because again, if you're just sort of treating it as your weekly shop style thing, then you're probably gonna spend £40. Also, if you're a new customer, you can use the code BELLA20 and that'll get you 20% off your entire first order. There's also then, if you have already shopped with Click Marketplace before, you get the code BELLA10, which will get you 10% off your entire order because they, of course, want to have new customers, but if you guys have already shopped there, there's no reason you shouldn't also get a discount. I love filming. Like, literally, I literally love filming, like, those sort of style hauls, like B&M and all the easy peasy, cheap and wacky and wonderful stuff. Like, I just love it. This is the current outcome of what the front room now looks like. So yeah, I've got to divide some stuff because quite a lot of it's for my mum as well. I think I got her some biscuits and things too. But I'm gonna have my nice cuppa and then later on today we've got to go and do <clears throat> a few DIY bits. So we're gonna put up, I think, the curtain hooks and things like that. And then Andy has got poker later. So that will be all fun and games. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put these finally up on the wall. They are the tie backs for these curtains. And as much as they kind of don't really need tie backs, that one's caught on the side, so ignore that. As much as they don't really need them, I really think it'll finish the room nice and this matches so perfectly. So I got these at B and M, I believe, and then I picked up these online. They're the little fleur de lis little design. So these are gonna go obviously on the wall like there and it'll just hold the tie back. So, I've got my drill, let's do this. And voila, sorry I didn't film it, but we just ended up doing it by hand, but I really like them in the wall. And it just means that the drapes can sort of actually drape rather than just sit. They look nice. So now we're gonna move on and do the hook backs in the dining room. So these are the hook backs that I bought for the dining room, which actually they go absolutely amazing with the curtain rail, as you can see. These are what they look like. I got them in B&M again, and they are, they were only eight pounds actually, so it was really, really good. Sorry about the radio, but we're, uh, we've had a cleaning day today, so everything is nice and clean. Looking good. Here's the, I just cleaned the floor. This thing, by the way, I really do love it. It's such a workout, and then you just detach the head, so I leave it here for when we do the next wash, or I do a wash of the mats and stuff. So yeah, lovely jubbly. Next job's done, woo! I love when the postwoman comes, because it means I get post. I thought I'd just sit down with you guys, just because I got some post, and I was very excited about it. I've been doing my nails again, this is the first time, actually this is the second because they come off, but this is the second time I've actually done my nails since the house move because as you would know if you've moved a house, there's absolutely no point because you're opening boxes, they're chipping left, right and centre. So I went for a nice bright colour despite the fact that the weather is absolutely rubbish. But we're gonna brighten it up, you know, keep ourselves cheery. But because I used to live at home and my mum's really into her nails now, she ended up buying all of the kits. So when I moved, I was like, ah, I don't have anything to do with my nails. So I didn't have any colors, so I ordered some. And these come through the post today. I just get my gels on eBay. But my favorite brand is this Canny. So I picked up these three tones, which can we just talk about how lovely and aesthetic this is? This is so my vibe. And then, We'll open up this other box I got in PR, which I'm not too sure what it is. By the way, I'm conscious this is a moving vlog still, and obviously these are just vlogs. So 
I need your guys' help. If you've got any idea what I can call this series again, like, I feel like the moving vlogs are definitely wearing thin now. We've, you know, I've moved, I've been here for nearly three months now. So I kind of feel scam, not scammy, that's the wrong word, but I kind of feel it's not right to be calling them the moving vlogs anymore, even though they're gonna be basically about the house. So for now, I'm gonna continue doing it, but until we find a good alternative name, then I will change it. But if you guys have any recommendations of whatever vlog I can call it, like the new series, that would be cool. I'm not 100% sure what this is. I think it's just a brand that reached out to me on email and said, can we send you some stuff? Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, so this is a skincare brand called Burst. And in this box, I've got this really funky headband. I mean, I don't know how I feel about this. Hang on, I might take the glasses off the head, that will help. Okay, I mean, I'm probably not gonna wear this because I feel like I look like I am from Bridgerton or something. I've just had a quick look on my email and actually these guys have just launched in Boots in April. So they're brand new on Boots UK. So they sent over a Day Dissolve cleansing balm. This looks really pretty. I love the packaging of that. And then this is the Shortcut Overnight Facial Peel. I really must start trying these because I don't exfoliate my skin. So I'm sure a facial peel is essentially just a chemical exfoliator. So I must try that. I actually will try that. I always say that like peel sounds scary, but no, Amy, you need to do it. The Dupot Moisturizing Gel Cream. Okay, that sounds so good. I love the color of this as well. And then the final product in here, now I've made a mess everywhere, is the Brightening Solution, Weekend Glow Brightening Solution. And it looks like this. So, today has been a good day. We had actually construction going on this morning. We've had the plumbers in to do our house because the hallway, I will show you right now, basically has a massive bit of plastering. That's not massive, that was very dramatic. It's not massive. A bit of plastering that has been done up there on the ceiling because basically our pipes in there, whenever we use the hot water upstairs, we would get like a while, people, while like Andy's in the shower, I can hear it and vice versa. When you're in the shower, you can't hear it, but if you stand here, it's really loud. So they've come today and they've cut out the ceiling and they basically had to adjust the timber because the timber was too close to the pipe. So when hot water goes down and the pipe expands and as the water gushes, it basically just hits the side. So it was no good. But that's all been sorted and I am currently not going to show you the kitchen and front room bit here because it's a mess. It's a real big mess. I've had a washing day today. I've, I've emptied our wash basket. There's no washing to be done, but there is washing everywhere. Do you guys find this issue? Because it's been rainy. Like, what has been happening to the weather in the UK? We're, sp we're in May. Like, what is happening? Even June, I'm not even too sure if we're going to get the sun yet. There's, like, no forecast of any good weather at the moment. But obviously that means you can't put washing out on a line. So it's gonna have to be like, hello dining table, you are now my error. But because they have come today, I emptied the hallway. So the hallway is completely empty and I've taken advantage of that and gone ahead. I've moved the radiator cover, literally everything's gone. The seat's gone over here. Um, I took advantage of that and gave it a good vacuum and I have mopped the floor. So the floor is all antibacterial and clean. And then this mat as well, I sprayed loads with like um, the Fabulosa disinfectant spray. So everything is nice and clean and organized in the hallway, <laughs> AKA nothing's in there. I must admit, this makes you appreciate, when you pull things out, it does make you appreciate having blank space. Now, as you'll probably see, we don't have a ton of stuff in the house but I need to find the balance because obviously you can't live like this. You know, it doesn't feel homely. So it's just about finding the balance. So I'm gonna go and get the radiator cover and all the bits and bobs and bring it back into the hallway. <laughs> Okay, so Andy's got an evening playing poker. 
So I am doing my jars, which I've been meaning to do. So I've just put on this label. And I keep looking at plain. And it looks like it's spelt wrong. But I don't think it is. It's one of those and you keep looking at it. Anyway, got plain flour. I've got bread flour and self-raising flour. So I'm going to do some more speed up clips with you guys. Because you guys said you like them. So we're going to do some transfers onto these. I'll be deep under your influence tonight Ooh, keep it coming, babe I don't mind another round Drinking from your bottle, babe Calling it wasted love, wasted love I can't get enough of my baby I'ma be wasted love, wasted love I'm spinning liquor on the carpet, on the couch I feel it dripping from my mouth Drinking from your bottle, baby Calling it wasted Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was so aesthetically pleasing for me. We've got all the flowers here. Now ready to be decanted into. Oh, doesn't that just do so much for you? I don't know, it does for me. Just makes it look so nice and neat. I completely forgot to show you yesterday the outcome of the pots. How beautiful is this? I've just put them all back here. I did try and organize this cupboard and <laughs> It's a little bit much because these cupboards are so awkward. You got like a bottom one and then you got a top one, and that's like my crisps and snacks. And then this is like I thought I'd have the baking level and then like the herbs and spices and like dips and preserves. But yeah, that is what we're working with at the moment. And then Andy's oats, and this needs to be decanted and stuff. But I don't know. I love them, I think they look great. So we are going to leave this moving vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button and also give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will be back next week for another moving vlog. I've got some very exciting bedding style stuff. If you follow me on the home Instagram, you would have seen already what the bed looks like. These vlogs are obviously slightly behind because they're clips that I film and update, etc. You guys know the drill. So if you aren't already subscribed and you enjoy these, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Also follow me over on the home account if you want more day-to-day -day content and some more home inspiration. And apart from that, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe and stay beautiful. Ciao.